Good afternoon, people. We're in the car. Now, where are we going? We're going to P-Town. We're going to P-Town, yes. our favorite place. I am very excited. We're going to see Jeremy Jordan, My which is literally, we're listening to Newsies, so we're yeah. preparing. Val has a Newsies pin. Wait, show oh. show your pin. Here's my Jack Kelly pin. I have a Catherine Plummer pin in my bag, too. Yes. I look like a Newsie, too. She does look like a Newsie. Yeah. I, I'm a giant fan. Yeah. It's great. Five. I snuck in the kitchen late at night and ate a donut with a maple glaze. It's like still fine. It always rains when we come to see a show here for some reason. It's really foggy though. Yes. It's so creepy, like eerie. We got our tickets. They're in my pocket, being protected from the rain. We ate donuts. How was your donut? Yeah, it was your great. donut good? My donut's so good. I got a maple sea salt one, and you got? I got a vanilla one with sprinkles. So they were really good. Now we're just gonna walk around, go to a few stores. I don't like doing this in public, so a lot of montage. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. We're outside the art house. No, this isn't the art house. This is a town hall. Yeah. Now waiting. We're probably gonna be waiting for like two hours. It's raining. Val's hair looks cute. It sure you got she got is. your link you got your link curl. I need a bobby pin. I'm really obsessed with my raincoat. There are polka dots in it. Yes, there are. And that's what's happening I'm right now. Getting a bobby pin out of my bag. Okay. Let me be a ride out of town. Let me be the place that you hide. We can make our lives on the go. Run away with me. Texas in the summer is cool. We'll be on the road like Jack Kerouac. Looking back. Getting ready, let's go. Oh! <laughs> 
so it's a few days later. I have like no voice right now because I went to Canopy Lake Park yesterday. I didn't vlog it because it was my friend's birthday, Ryan, and I just wanted to enjoy time with her and my other friend Leah and I didn't feel like vlogging it because also you can't film on any of the rides so it's kind of pointless. Anyway, I just wanted to come on here because I didn't talk after seeing Jeremy Jordan so I figured I should talk about how amazing it was and how great the whole experience was. I'm currently making food for, I'm like just spinning around. Here. I'm currently making food for work. I'm going to work in like an hour. So I'm making some lunch and I have to make dinner. It's now Saturday. I'm eating some chicken and I might make some sweet potato fries. So Jeremy Jeremy Jordan was really, really awesome. His voice is just amazing. Definitely one of my favorite people I've seen for sure. Also, he's like really funny and nice and just like a great person. Like him and Seth together were so funny. Also, I love Seth Rudetsky. He's amazing. So yeah, the experience was really fun. We didn't vlog after, well, we, I didn't vlog after because it was raining. And also I just, it was dark. So the lighting wouldn't be that good. And also I just like feel weird vlogging around other people. Not that like, like my friend Val didn't care, but I just still feel, I don't know. That's something I'm like definitely want to work on. Like even right now, I'm like alone in my house and like I just feel weird like talking to a camera. But like I do really like making these, you know? I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel, if I didn't want to. So I definitely do enjoy like vlogging and enjoy doing this and like capturing stuff. But I definitely need to like just get more used to it. This is new, I've never really done that. I've done theater and stuff. So like I'm used to like acting and performing. Those have been like tapes. But I never really liked like watching myself back on those performances. Kind of like put tinfoil on this pan one-handed. That's a yikes and a half. But anyway, yeah, Jeremy Jordan was a great, great experience. Val really, really loved it. We met him after and he was so nice. I'm so awkward when I meet people. Like I've met like a fair amount of like actors. It's like great about like theater and everything is like you can go to like stage door and stuff after. So I've met like a good amount. You can see on my Instagram, <laughs> I have like pictures of everyone I've met. I'm always just so awkward. Like, I just never know like what to say. Like, I can never think. I'm always just like, oh my God, you're so great. Your voice is so good. Like that's what I usually say. Nothing profound. But it was like still like a good experience. It was so nice. We had talked about like the shirt I was wearing. I was wearing my Take Chances shirt, which I love. So I got up, like it was my turn in line and I walked up to him and I just like stared like, oh my God, you're freaking Jeremy Jordan. In that moment, I was just so shook to be standing in front of Jeremy Jordan. Like it was, I couldn't believe it. I was just so in shock. And then also I just love Seth Rudetsky. Like the year before when we went to see Jessie Mueller, who also is amazing, her voice, like she can sing anything and sound amazing like it's crazy and like we met Seth Rudetsky after and he was like oh like I know you and I was like um I've never met you before like we went to go see the year before we went to go see Gavin Creel and like obviously I go to P-Town a lot because I love P-Town it's just such a great amazing place and I was like no like I haven't met you before but like it's just now like it's I joke I'm like oh yeah he's my best friend he knew me we, we go way back like I've met him twice like BFFs am I right so I was just like so shook because I was so excited to meet Seth again because I love him and then also like Jeremy Jeremy Jordan. Val made like a drawing for him, which is her drawing. Her art is just so amazing. Like she is such a talented artist. She like gave, drew him a picture of like him as Jack Kelly from Newsies. He seemed to like really like that. So it was good. Like she, she was so excited. Her experience is really great. My experience was great. Even though I'm like awkward, it was still like so great. And I'm so happy I did this. I'm talking so fast. So I wanted him to sing She Used to Be Mine from Waitress because I love that song. I've seen Waitress twice. I saw it on Broadway and I saw it on tour. And then we saw Jessie Mueller last year. So obviously she sang that because she's in it. I saw Betsy Wolf in it and I've seen Desi Oakley in it. Des Betsy was on Broadway and Desi's on tour right now. So I've seen three people sing it live. And of course, like that song's amazing. They all were so emotional. It was like heart wrenching. Like that song like hits you. But then Jeremy did a like Miss cast and he sang that song and I cried like just watching the video made me cry not like cry but like I got like so like emo about it so I'm like I really wanted him to sing it because I knew like if he sang it like oh it would just hit so hard oh it's such a good song and his voice is so beautiful like his voice is so smooth he killed it so he did sing that one and I thought like that would be like the song that like got me then he sang like Book of Mormon he sang you and me but mostly me and Seth was like Elder Cunningham and Jeremy was Elder Price he sang that so I was like so excited because I love Book of Mormon <laughs> and it was just great it was amazing like I never thought I wanted to see him in that role but then 
and like he was in that role and I loved it. Yeah, he's saying that. So I was like so pumped and like I was so excited and so happy. And then like usually how these shows go is like they like sing and then they talk like a little bit and they sing and they talk. This time he did like two songs in a row. So he sang that song and then he went straight like into Bring Him Home from Les Mis. And oh my God, like I was like so happy, so living, like jamming. And then he sang that and like I like died inside. Like I was so emo about it. I can put my chicken in. He's saying bring him home. And literally, I like got teary eyed. Like, it was one, so amazing. And two, it was just such an emotional roller coaster. I was living my best life, honestly. So, anyway, that was just so great. I figured I'd do like an update on that experience. So, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed Jeremy's voice as much as I do. So, please give this video a thumbs up if you love Jeremy Jordan, because I do. Please subscribe if you wanna see more. Comment down below your favorite part. My favorite favorite part was Jeremy's singing and I think that's it. Follow all my social media. The links are down below in the description and I will see you next week with another vlog. Bye guys! Yeah.